morning, everyone. 今日はあのこんな朝早くから、えー、お越しいただいて本当にありがとうございます。えー、私はチーム忍者の、えー、日本のディレクターの安田文彦です。Uh, yes, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out. I know it's still pretty early considering GD week. GDC week is a very long week for everyone. So,、uh, thanks so much for coming to our session. My name is Fumihiko Yasuda, and、uh, I'm from Team Ninja, game director for NEO. 今回この GDC でですね、えー、まあ古典的になってしまっていた、えー、侍ゲームを現代のアクションゲームとして復活しようという挑戦を日本ではしましたがそのことについて、えー、お話しできることをとても嬉しく思っています。So I'm really excited today to、um, share with you the stories about how we sort of revived、um, the samurai、um, Action RPG game, which turned out to be an RPG game, but、uh, the samurai action genre and、uh, the lessons learned、uh, reintroducing a, a classic game to a modern audience. Team Ninja が恋いい場で話すること、制作プロセスについて話することってめったになくてですね、私も緊張していますので、皆さんにとって役立つといいなと願いながら、今日は日本についてお話していきたいと思います。Um, and it's pretty rare that、uh, we, our studio, Team Ninja,、um, share some of these stories in sort of the public forum or, or panels and sessions like this. So I'm a bit nervous, but hopefully、um, I can share some stories that will be of、uh, help or informative for all of you here today. So, I'd like to start out with a brief history of Nio. Nio was a very interesting history of the story 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 of t Uh, so, the development history of NEO is it's a bit complicated.、Um, as you may know, it was announced in 2005, which is quite some time ago.、Uh, Ko Shibusawa, the founder of Koi, first announced this title, NEO, and initially began、um, development on the Koi side.、Um, but、uh, after a few unsatisfactory attempts, it was sort of put back in the closet, shelved away for a while. And then soon after, Tecmo had merged with Koi. Team Ninja was chosen to take on the NEO project and ultimately began development in 2011.、えー、2011年当初は、えー、Ninja Gaiden をベースにしたですね、まあ、サムライ・ガイデンのような、えー、アクションゲームで、えー、独自性が足りないよねってことでこれも開発一度、えー、ストップしてですね2014年に、えー、改めて、えー、チーム Ninja のスタジオヘッドの林を含め、えー、私と8名程度のチームで再始動して2015年の TGS で発表してそして今年の2月ですね先月ですけどついに発売しました。And so in 2011、um, we started the project.、Uh, the overarching sort of I guess goal or, or theme was that we would make a samurai Gaiden、uh, action game based on Ninja Gaiden franchise.、Um, but even that It didn't really work out. So we just continued that direction and then put it on sort of a pause for a second.、Um, in 2014, we restarted the development with a new direction with about eight people in the beginning, including Hayashi, Yosuke Hayashi, the head of Team Ninja, and myself. The game was announced to the public at Tokyo Game Show in 2015, and then it was finally released、uh, just last month on the PlayStation 4. えー、2014年にですね、えー、私がプロジェクトに参加して、えー、初めにやったことは、えー、このタイトルのコンセプトと、えー、ターゲットを明確に、えー、しました。So the first thing I did、um, when taking over or, or restarting the project was that、uh, in 2014, that was to define the target audience and a new approach for this title. 個人的にはですね、えーまあ、いろんな方に受けるようにキャッチーで手軽なアクションゲームを作る必要は、えー、チーム忍者にはないと結論付けていて、えー、欧米のトリプル A タイトルとも違うアプローチで、えー、日本というゲームを、えー、戦いたかったとで、えー、コアゲーマーをターゲットに、えー、手応えのゲームを作るということを決めて、えー、それは何よりも私たち自身がチーム忍者自身が、えー、コアゲーマーの集まりだから
そういう選択をしました。I personally felt that Team Ninja should not attempt to make a user friendly、um, or accessible, too accessible of a, I guess a, ga- a game targeting a wide consumer base. I wanted to take an approach that separated us from most traditional AAA titles released in the West to develop a specific, specific type of game targeting hardcore gamers who would enjoy this very challenging content、um, because they and ourselves. Are the most dedicated and die hard of all gamers. そこで決定したゲームコンセプトは「戦国死にゲー」これは日本語のコンセプトですけど侍が主人公のチーム忍者だからこそできるやりごたえ手応え歯応えのあるゲームでターゲットはコアゲーマー。And a massacre concept and gamer community. 私自身もディレクターとして関わった「忍者ガイデン3」や「刃忍者ガイデン Z」はコンセプトやそこから制作したゲームがターゲットであるコアゲームのプレイヤーだったりの期待に添えていなかったことで失敗に終わってしまいましたなのでその反省も踏まえて今回はですね決定したコンセプトとターゲットを常に意識しながら開発を進めることを決めました Um, so, I was also、uh, the director in charge of Ninja Gaiden 3, as well as Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z.、Uh, two different projects which I learned、uh, very difficult and valuable lessons from. And based on those experiences, I really just had to remind myself from the beginning of Neo's development that I should never compromise our core audience and the integrity of our work. そこで最初に決めた施策がですね、まあ、最もあの開発日本の開発で特徴的だったと思うんですが体験版施策です。So one thing that we thought about was、um, as you see in the slide here we were asking ourselves okay what are we going to do to make sure that we keep track、uh, keep on track of our core concept and approach? 開発のプロセスでは、まあ、ここにいらっしゃる皆さんも開発者だと思うので。分かっていただけると思うんですが予算とか技術的な制約の中で、えー、常に死者選択を迫られてですねコンセプトだったりターゲットの、えー、喜ばれるものとずれてきていないかという不安は常に、えー、開発の期間中感じるものだと思いますなので、えー、体験版施策を通すことでプレイヤーに常にですね、えー、何度か直接コミュニケーションをとって開発を進めることを、えー、決めました。Uh, so, I think most of you here are、uh, developers yourselves, or at least in the development community. So, I think you would understand or agree with me. But we have to continuously struggle or juggle a lot of elements under various、um, constraints that may be time, budget,、uh, technical issues, and so on. So,、um, I think that we all get to a point where we feel very anxious whether our concepts and direction. Meets the player's expectations. So we decided to reshape the development process by communicating directly with our target audience throughout the process with、um, these game demos. このデモ体験版というものはですね、通常あのよくある発売前後に、えー、配信されるようなものではなくて、開発を進める上で、えー、プレイヤーに確認をしたいという要素が強くて、えー、フィードバックを入れられる開発周期のタイミングで。複数回体験版を配信するという施策です、えー、開発がですね、まあ、今どれだけ短くても23年かかると思いますがその期間にゲームの方向性だったりプレイヤーの期待とそれがずれていっていないかというのを確認したくて、えー、この施策を取ったんですが特にこの「仁王」というタイトルが、まあ、先ほどお話した通り非常に長い間、えー、10年以上、えー、多くの方に期待されていたタイトルなので彼らの声を、えー、少しでも早く So, the demos became a development tool to validate and confirm our approach rather than an advertisement or marketing or,、um, or a PR sort of tool.、Um, they were to be released several times in this case and ended up being a few times, but during the course of development, mid to late term, where feedback、uh, would be used, utilized or addressed. Um, as this game took quite a few years to develop, I wanted to confirm whether there was a gap between the game direction and the player's expectations during that period. And especially with Neo,、um, because it was announced 10 years ago, 
and uh, there were people who were still hoping or maybe following, looking forward to it. I wanted to make sure that those fans uh, were getting the information and being able to sort of communicate back with us um, and to look forward to the uh, final product. えー、そして実際の、えー、体験版のスケジュールを、えー、見ていただいているんですけど、えー、2016年の4月にアルファ体験版8月にベータ体験版、えー、そして、えー、1月今年の1月に最終体験版を配信しました。So, as you see here,、uh, the schedule, it ended up being three times.、Uh, the first one in,、uh, starting in April of last year, the second one, the beta, being August. And then、uh, just before the release, during just one weekend in January, we had the last, last chance trial demo. アルファとベータに関しては、えー、想定通り意見収集や、えー、ゲームの改善目的と。していましたけど、えー、最終体験版は、まあ、実はあ,のこれあんまりやりたくなかったんですけどあんまり予約がなかったので、えー、やってくれと言われてやりました。Um, the main goal for the alpha and beta demos were to collect feedback and improve the quality of the game.、Uh, the last chance trial demo, I actually was sort of、uh, hesitant or opposed to doing that. Um, and it was released for just a small、uh, amount of time, just the one last weekend.、Um, but that was because I was told or informed that our pre order numbers were not as high as we had thought. So I went ahead and committed to doing a last chance trial demo. So, in the Alpha Taikema, 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 the So here's a, a quick snapshot of the results from the alpha demo. でこのデータにはあまりこれはあの世界中のオンラインデータなのでわ、えー、からないかもしれないですけど、えー、欧米ではですね非常にポジティブに、えー、受け取られた一方ですね日本とアジアでは非常に、えー、反応が悪くて、えーまあ、これはただあの難度に対する考え方だったり体験版の楽しみ方みたいなところの違いが大きな原因だと思っていますただあの面白いことにですね、えー、チュートリアルが足りないとかプレイヤーの操作をもっとこうしたいとかっていう指摘は、えー、実は同じ内容でした。So、um, this chart that you see here is not divided by region or territory so it's hard to tell、um, however I'll give you some information on what we saw is that many players in the West were quite positive、uh, overall about the demo But that was actually not the case with our players in Japan and Asia.、Um, we sort of concluded or realized that this sort of gap is probably caused by cultural differences and how, perceive,、uh, how they perceive difficulty. And probably、um, some of the contrasting ways that players navigate through or perceive what is an alpha demo. And a beta demo.、Um, however, interestingly, there were common opinions such as the lack of tutorial elements and improving user performance or controls. アルファ体験版でですね、えー、開発チームはアルファ体験版の反応を受けて、えーまあ、ここに挙げたような対応をしました。So, what we did here is、uh, based on the feedback that we got, we made these improvements、uh, for the alpha phase. 先ほどのデータは体験版と合わせて、えー、集めたオンラインアンケートの結果なんですけど公式のアンケートを通して、えー、意見を出してくれるプレイヤーというのは非常に少なくて、えー、どうしても私たち自身も、えー、能動的に情報を取りに行く必要がありました、えー、いろんな、えー、ツイッターなどの SNS や、えー、掲示板などで、えー、ポジティブネガティブ両方遠慮ない意見たくさんあったのでそれは非常に役に立ちました。So, gathering information、uh, from players was、uh, definitely not an easy task, as you may also have experienced.、Uh, the data that I showed earlier is a combined result of a questionnaire、uh, together with the demos, but since the players who provided、uh, these opinions and filled out、uh, the questionnaire were、uh, very few in numbers, we had to kind of proactively go out and seek where everyone was talking about,、uh, whether it was through The boards, the forums, or social media,、um, we had to really go out and dig further so that we had、um, enough feedback to really look at. And I think people were 
a lot more honest and open about their feedback and opinions uh, in those areas. So, uh, uh, <laughs> what do you think about this? Why, who, we have, get, got, などの言葉を初めて知ることができました。<laughs> and throughout that process, you know, there are new things that we learned or discovered,、um, such as I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but is it waifu or weabu or git <laughs> gud?、Um, these are new terms to us. <laughs> まあそういった<笑>まあそういったものを集めてですね、三ヶ月後にベータ体験版をまた再び配信しました。And so once we completed the、um, alpha demo process, collected the feedback,、um, three months later we went to our next step, which was releasing the beta demo. This is the alpha and beta online enquete. The result of the alpha and beta is that the results of the alpha and beta are more positive than the results of the alpha and beta are more positive. And so the top is the alpha demo results, as you can see, and then the lower being the beta.、Um, after making these improvements based on the alpha feedback, you can see that pretty much in every single element,、uh, the feedback was increased on the positive side. I know, my alpha. 体験版からベータ体験版の間であったりベータ体験版から、えー、製品版であったりという部分で、えー、フィードバックに対して、えー、ついて、えー、詳しくお話ししようと思います。So I'd like to go in deeper、um, with what we ended up doing with that feedback、uh, from going from the alpha implementing and reflecting and then reflecting the feedback and then going into the beta demo. まず最初にあの意見を集めてゲームをこれから改善していこうというときに最初に起きた問題が開発チームがプレイヤーの意見の影響を受けすぎてしまうということでした。So the first problem that we encountered、uh, had really nothing to do with the feedback that we were actually getting. It was more about that our own staff, our own team members became way too influenced and affected、uh, by the opinions of the players. プレイヤーが A と言ってるから A にしようとか、えー、このボス難しいと言ってるから簡単にしようとか、えー、そういった意見すら出たので、えー、私は集めたプレイヤーの意見やそこに、えー、ある提案などは全てあの答えではなくて問題であってそれを受けて考えて答えを出すのは我々開発者であるということを、えー、絶対に忘れないようにしました。So, for example, if someone、uh, saw feedback that says, oh, we want this to be changed. Just because some of the players said that, or even maybe you know, a few players said that, we didn't want it to be like, okay, that's something that we want to change. Or、uh, some of the feedback that we got was, make this boss battle easier. Do we make it easier? Probably not. We needed to really think about it.、Um, uh, same with the difficulty level, not just with the boss battles, but throughout.、Uh, therefore, I tried to remind everyone that we are the developers. Um, who are creating the game, and by attempting to consider all these、uh, various sort of range of feedback that we were getting,、uh, we weren't arriving to a solid solution or an answer, but these were rather more questions that we were supposed to be asking ourselves. 具体的な例としては、まあ、一番上に書いてある文ですけど耐久度というあまりまあ評判の良くないパラメータがあったんです。でそれをまあお客さんはなくせというような意見多かったんですけど、私たちはまあなくすだけだと、まあ仕事してないのと一緒なので、ええー、アイオードというまあ別のパラメータに変えることで、えー、同じ効果でありながら、同じような効果でありながら、えー、プレイヤーの負荷やプレイヤーに嫌われる要素をなくすという、えー、判断をしました。So one notable change that we made is the one at the very top to、um, the removing the equipment durability system. Now, if we had just Said, okay, let's do that. We're going to cut that out. Then that would not be probably the right answer、um, or the right solution that we're looking for.、Um, so, what we did was we didn't entirely remove it, but rather we changed it to a weapon familiarity、um, system. That way,、uh, it had the same sort of effect or result from the player standpoint,、um, but we just made a, an adjustment or a change so that we still kept something that we wanted the players to feel. Um, as they were playing the game. 
、えーまあ、ここに挙げましたけどオープンワールドにしてほしいという意見もありました、えー、これも、あのーまあ、このゲームが何度もプレイヤーが、えー、ゲームオーバーになって再びプレイするゲームなのでロードをとにかく短くしたかったとあのリトライジのロードを短くしたかったり、えー、バトルの頻度だったり密度を、えー、高いものにキープしたかったという部分で、えー、不採用としました。Uh, another opinion was to create an open world system,、uh, the third one here. This was also rejected、um, as we wanted to shorten the load time after death and raise the frequency and density of the battles. まあ、ここに挙げたような形でしたんですけど、えー、不具合だったり明らかに調整が足りないものに関しては、えー、非常に簡単な判断だったんですが、えー、難度の設定という部分は非常に判断が難しかったです。So、um, the other bullet points that you see here are some of the changes we made.、Uh, we adopted some of the feedback regarding the behavior of the camera lock on feature,、uh, increasing the level of difficulty,、uh, and so forth. ただ、えー、判断に迷うたびにですね、えー、このゲームのコンセプトだったりターゲットというものを、えー、改めて、えー、考えて判断していくことにしました。So it was pretty easy to determine whether to incorporate opinions about the technical issues or disregard some of the negative feedback.、Um, but what was really important was to really stay true to the concept and、uh, approach that we had、uh, from the very beginning of the game.、えー、そしてまあ。細かいけど重要だったなと今感じることがですねこういったフィードバックを我々は公開しました thing, but,、uh, learned, up, uh, これはあの意見を出していただいた方やプレイした方へのとのコミュニケーションであって、えー、あと私たちがそういったものを受けてこのゲームを、えー、改善していいゲームにしていくという約束でもありました。So this was a process、um, that we a process or a step that we took, and it served as a way for us to communicate with those who played the demo and provided their opinions, as well as a commitment to the fans、uh, of what they can expect from the final product. 体験場施策について良かったこと悪かったことをまとめるとこちらが良かったことになります。So in sum,、um, I have the good and the bad. So we'll start out with a good. 良かった点の一つ目としてはプレイヤーの反応を見てですね、えー、私がやったことが正しいかどうか確認ができたり間違っていると、えー、受け取られた場合は軌道修正をすることができるということで、これはあの体験版の元々の目的の一つで、これは非常にいい形で実現できたと思ってます。So, the first one being、um, acquiring player feedback, and obviously not just that, but we were able to then take that and proceed with adjustments,、um, reflect some of the feedback based on the player's response. This was the main objective of the demo, so we were very satisfied with the results.、えー探すことができるようになって、今行ってますけど、発売後のアップデートや DLC の展開の際にもこのイテレーションのノウハウが活かせていると思ってます。Um, and also, it was a really positive learning experience for our development team, not just myself, but everyone who worked on it.、Um, we were able to find、uh, answers and things that we wanted to still Sort of keep on our checklist, and what has happened is that we are able to then take that, and whether it's going to be in the form of DLCs or updates, we'll be able to、uh, follow through with some of these things that we still have remaining and wanting to do. So, in the end, we have to communicate with the communication. We have to do this. 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 We have to えー、発売前から、えー、存在するという非常に、えー、いい状況を生むことができました。And、uh, lastly,、uh, establishing new fans. Even though we have been creating, producing, and putting out games、uh, under other franchise names, Neo technically would be a brand new IP. So if you think about it, we're really starting from scratch. There was really no fan base to begin with. But the fact that we, through these demos, we were able to Um, gain new fans and start establishing a Neo player community. 
あのこれはファンではないんですけど、えー、体験版の、えー、欧米での非常な好評を受けてですね、えー SIE さんがパブリッシャーとしてこの欧米で協力していただくことも一つの非常に嬉しい出来事でした。Uh, another thing is that this title is actually published by Sony Interactive、uh, Entertainment Group、um, in I think all territories. And what happened was is that after seeing the results or the positive reception of the alpha demo, we were able to、um, Put together the publishing deal with Sony Interactive. So that meant a lot for us、um, and it proved that this game was going to be something that would, they would support、uh, throughout the launch and, and with marketing. ここまではいい話だったんですけど、次、悪い話なんですが、悪かった点がこちらになります。So obviously, after the good, let's look at the bad. 一つ目がネタバレ。ですねえーまあ、日本にストーリーを期待してた方ってほとんどいないと思うんですけど、えー、プレイヤーの、えーまあ、どうしても体験として、えー、初めて体験する楽しみであったりというものを、えー、奪ってしまうという側面はありました。So, the first one is spoilers. And I don't know if spoilers is the most accurate term here. And also, I don't know if、um, people looking forward to Neo were really. Wanting to know it from a story or a narrative perspective. But nonetheless, to be able to check out the game prior to its final product or final release, it does take away from、um, being able to experience that first time impression.、Um, so that might have been something that、uh, was not really intended in terms of spoiling it. But that you do get that、uh, feeling of knowing something prior to its final release. Tsugini, Kaya Chimu, no, Futanga, Hijoni, Oki Kata, this. To no more, eh, ma, demo to you, mono de Atemo, Pogaksani, Sati Tada Kumono, no de, eh, ma, say him a sort of quality, or Jitsgen Shinaki, or Narana, a bubu, ma, eh, Hijoni Kaya Chimu, no, Futani, or Natsimata, or Motemas. Secondly, it was a really Uh, heavy burden on the development team. Even if the demo is at an alpha stage, the quality still needed to be reflective of a final、uh, product or a stage within the final product. So that was something that we really had to、uh, concentrate and make sure that it was、uh, good enough quality to put out、uh, as a demo. The last one is that the time of the game is not going to be able to do it. というのも、まあ、あの非常に多くの反応がオンラインで見れたり特にあのツイッチのような動画配信プレイ動画を配信しているようなものが非常に、まあ、あのリアルタイムに彼らのプレイを見ることができたので、まあ、そういったものをずっと見ててですねみんな仕事全くしなくなってしまったとっいう問題もありました。And lastly, a really big problem. None of our guys were able to work or concentrate on what they were supposed to be doing. Um, you know, we were happy that people were checking out the demo, but it's very hard to block anything that's maybe made online and are made available online. And so we were constantly checking on these players who were live streaming on Twitch, and we just couldn't, <laughs> we just couldn't ignore that. And so、um, it wasn't a very productive time uh, spent, uh, time well spent during、uh, this period. Now, they were on. 皆さんのプレイが想像以上のものだったりすることも多くてすごくあの楽しい経験ではありました。But it wasn't all bad, even though we couldn't concentrate on our work because we were seeing a lot of positive reaction and responses as they were streaming. えまあ今回の体験版という施策を通してですね感じた部分としてえまあこういった部分をえ感じました。Okay, and so we have、uh, these key lessons here.、Uh, the first one is the first one. 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 The first one is I don't have any specific ideas, but maybe I feel that it would have been more effective to limit the amount of players.、えーまあねえーまあ
えーまあ、特にこのゲームは非常に歯応えがあってすぐ死んでしまうので、うん、なんだこれって言ってこう手を離してしまう人が非常に多かったように感じているからです。And、um, maybe even、uh, a purchase to play demo option. What happened was is that because it was free to download, free to play,、uh, there was a very, very wide variety of sort of feedback and opinions we got. Yes, that's important, but at the same time,、um, You know, there would be players who would probably play for a very, very short amount of time. They would die instantly. And then that would then become their first impression and maybe only impression. So、uh, there is this feeling that maybe we should have limited,、uh, we should have had a, a way to limit the number of players who had access to the demo. Well, I've been talking about this. I've been talking about this. I've been talking about this. えー、多かったですのでこのじ体験版を実施するっていうこと自体がまあ正しいかどうか、まあ、正解かどうかというものは、えー、私たちもよく分かってまだいな,いないですただ、えー、プレイヤーの声に耳をか傾けるっていうことは間違いなく、えー、要求されるし、えー、迫られる部分なので、まあ、その覚悟を持っているのであれば、えー、行うことは、えー、非常にいいことなのかなと思います。Um, and so I want to mention here that there is really no correct answer with regards to conducting game demos、uh, or in the way that we did this time around. I think there's both the good and the bad.、Um, it's definitely a、uh, requirement for us developers to at least listen to the players' voices,、um, whether that takes shape or form in the way that we did or not. I think it's just fundamentally important to you know, have our ears open so that we can listen.、Uh, so it's important for us to prepare and come up with new methods to acquire these valuable insights from our fans. In the case of the people who are in the sales, they are in the case of the people who 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 a r Uh, even though it was our first time kind of operating in this way and changing the way that we developed the game, we are seeing results in terms of reaction,、uh, reviews, and even sales numbers. So I do want to say that、uh, this was a great learning experience, not only that, but I think it added value to the entire project for NEO. えー、最後になりますけど、えー、今日は、えー、体験版作を通してですね、えー、プレイヤーとコミュニケーションを取ることで、えー、日本というゲームを、えー、制作してきたということを、えー、お伝えしたのでですね、まあ、あの制作プロセスについて深く、えー、知っていただけたなら、えー、嬉しく思います。Uh, so, that was a very small window into our journey with NEO and the、uh, communications that took place、uh, with us and the potential fans. I hope this provided you with a better understanding of our creative and development process and how we ultimately shaped this game. えー、ターゲットであるプレイヤーの皆さんが似合うというゲームにどのような期待をしているのか、えーまあ、どういった、えー、対応をしてほしいのかといった部分を、えー、通すことでですね、えー、最も大きな収穫としてあったのが、えー、私たちの、えー、コンセプトや目指しているものが、えー、正しいと感じることができて、えーまあ、非常に、まあ、悪い点も今日いくつか言いましたけど、えー、自信を持ったり、えー、強いモチベーションを、えー、まあでブーストされながら開発を進めることが、えー、できたのは特に一番大きな、えー、利点だったなと思ってます。Uh, so it was a unique experience for myself and the team.、Uh, we learned so much about our intended fans and their expectations for this game. More importantly, this user engagement provided us with an opportunity to reaffirm our direction and gain the confidence to steer boldly forward.、Um, it added motivation for us. As an exercise that was designed to learn more about our fans and gain valuable feedback, we ultimately learned a lot about ourselves, our own selves in the process. And so that is a priceless lesson that we will not forget. Players, and the 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 players, とても詳しく知ることができたので、えー、この貴重な経験をですね、今後のゲーム制作にも生かしていきたいなと今思っています
Um, it may not have been all good, but in addition to what I said, we've learned about our own strengths as Team Ninja and what we're able to achieve. So we want to definitely take that and carry that into whatever next project we have. Yeah, 最後になりますけど、今日はあの起きてこうやってお話聞いていただいて本当にありがとうございます。また皆さんとお話できる機会を楽しみにしています。Uh, and so that's it.、Uh, thank you again for coming, and I hope I get the privilege to speak to you again someday in the future. Thank you. Thank you. So we have about、uh, 20 minutes,、um, and we're going to open it up to QA. There are two mics down the aisle here, and we are recording audio, so if you could. Come up if you have any questions, and we'll take one at a time. Hello.、Uh, I was wondering if you have any like, hard and fast rules on when to look at feedback seriously. Like, if you see 10 forum posts, be like, okay, maybe we should look at this. Or there's 100 forum posts about a single topic, you're like, we need to fix this. フィードバックが例えば少数だったら、あるいはこのレベルを、まあより以上だったら、やっぱりその真剣なフィードバックとして真剣に聞き入れるべきだっていうその何て言うんですか基準で言ったら変ですけど、それがじゃあフィードバック
And then thirdly, in terms of uh, where uh, social media channels, where do we sort of hone in on or look at? Um, it was really everything, um, including NeoGAF and Reddit. <laughs> So anything and everywhere that you can think of that we can collect feedback, we were trying to cover. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the presentation first. Um, my question is, how did you prioritize the choices you had to make during <coughs> development? Uh, was it more depending on how strong the player feedback was uh, to make like this or this specific choice on the top of the list? or was it more depending on how time consuming it would be for your team? まあ、さっき ま、制約が予算だったり、え、期間だったりっていう制約がま、非常に大きいので、判断するときにはやっぱりそこはどうしても避けては通れなくて。で、やるやらないっていうと決めるときにま、一番大きかったのは、え、先ほども少し触れまし
uh, time the beta testing or the beta release of the beta demo a little bit earlier. Uh, there was quite some time, I think about three or three and a half, four months in between uh, the alpha and the beta. It did sort of work in parallel with our uh, development process uh, or sort of knee deep into us creating the game, you know, developing and really aiming for hitting some of these schedules and milestones we had. So we could have probably uh, pushed up the beta demo a little bit. However, at that same time, we were very aware um, of these other titles that were coming in or maybe aiming for release at the same time. So we had to make sure that we hit our schedule uh, and not hopefully be in a super competitive sort of time frame for release. And so those were maybe some guidelines that served us to do demos at a certain time. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Uh, thanks for the talk. Um, when, work, when the idea for these public demos uh, came across, uh, did you encounter any uh, resistance from, uh, from Sony or Koei or, uh, or even internally at Team Ninja? Uh, and how did you kind of address that and mitigate the potential risks of doing something like this? なんでこういうことやるのっていうなんか反発を受けたりとかはあとすごいリスキーじゃないかって思われたことはありましたかそうですねまあソニーさんは悪決して悪くは言わなかったですけどま基本的にはえ開発チームは大反対でしたねはい
決め方というかまた基準があったりはするんでしょうか、うん、例えばじゃあここはあのなんだろうシステム的にこう変えたらよりこうなるんだろうみたいな、はいはいはい、そうですねやっぱりまず検討する時には特にこう、まあ、バイアスなしにまずその問題というか、えー、指摘そのものをまず見て、えー、そこからまあ、あの議論を始めるという部分が、えー、最初にあって、まあ、その後はどうしても制約の中で何かしら答えを出さないといけないでそれがまあ 100%、えー、のプレイヤーを満足させることはないという部分は前提だったんですけど、まあ、それでも一人でも多くの方に満足してもらいたいと思っていてそれが実はあの複数回の体験版をやるという一番の理由だったりしました。そうしないと結局変えたものがいいか悪いかっていう部分がこちらも判断、えー、しづらかったりもするので、えー、そういった部分で2回やったこと、えー、まあ実際3回やりましたけどそれは非常にいい効果があったのかなと思ってます。So there isn't a、um, hold on one second sorry about that <laughs>、um, so there wasn't really similar to the answer that we gave earlier there wasn't really a, a rule book that we really Played by. We would collect all the feedback, look through it, sort through it.、Um, and the most important thing was that we had to look at it from a non biased point of view. So we would take sort of ourselves out of the equation once and then look at it from that perspective.、Um, but then also to jump to the other answer that we had earlier is that next thing is we had to work within some time and budgetary constraints and technical. Maybe constraints that we maybe wanted to do, but we knew that we couldn't achieve.、Um, we knew that in making these changes or reflecting these adjustments in the game, you know, we're not going to make everyone 100% happy.、Um, it's almost impossible to make a perfect game for everyone who's going to be purchasing this game. So,、um, knowing that, we would make Adjustments, changes, implement new systems, and so forth, hoping that by the time this is in the alpha, but then by the time we reflected that in the beta, they would be either addressed or sort of proven.、Um, and if not addressed, we had made that、um, sort of open.、Um, and so by doing an alpha and beta, and as a result, we did do the third one to kind of make sure that we can check that. Earlier feedback in the next one was actually a really、um, good, I guess, idea or plan that we followed through with the feedback, with the feedback from the users. Thank you. No other questions? No other questions? Everyone's very quiet because it's in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I see someone walking up. Hi. I was curious what kind of telemetry and metrics you are tracking over your alpha, beta clients, and that kind of thing.、Mm. Thanks. ああえー、っとまああのこの「ニオー」というゲームにはですねあのこのロゴにもありますけどあの血の刀塚あのプレイヤーがオンライン上でプレイヤーが死亡した場合にできるこの血の刀塚があるんですけど、まあ、そのデータは体験版の際にとってどれぐらい多くの方がどのステージで、えー、死亡したか。どの場所で死亡したかという部分は、えー、データとして、えー、取得して、えーまあ、難易度だったりの、えー、ペーシングだったりの参考にしました。Uh, so, as you see in this logo too, the katana zuka,、um, this is something that, so whenever a player dies, we were capturing where, location, and when.、Um, so, that was something that、uh, was. Amongst other data that we collected, that was something that was kind of an obvious thing that we wanted to catch.、Um, and it also would tell us or inform us kind of the difficulty level、um, uh, of the demo. But, you know, obviously from the results, we would see where people were 
dying the most or the least. All right, one more question for me. Um, the, how, was, uh, how was your experience uh, testing this game with players and getting feedback from them uh, sig significantly different from doing something more like traditional internal focus group testing or something like that? Mm -hmm. where, where the, was the nature of the results very different? うん、こうやってやっぱり一般のユーザーさんの勝者に決して動くま、決してないね、と見てもらうのと、普段その社内給与とか、あとはま、外注しても お客さんの方が容赦がないので、良くも悪くもあの正直なコメントが見れたので、それはま非常にまあとやっぱり数の問題ではすごく多くのプレイヤーの方がやってくださったので、そこで非常にまより良いデータはもらえたかなと思って
pick and choose kind of what they want to do. So thanks to some of the feedback um, and discussions we had post alpha demo, it I think helped our engineering team to look into that direction. And at the same time, the PS4 announcement came out. And so we felt like it was a natural uh, fit or a good idea for the game. You've set a very good example for all games on console, <laughs> so keep up the good work. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I think we have time for one last one. Oh, perfect. I have another question, actually. Um, so, how do you feel about doing more changes uh, to the game in the future alongside season pass content, for example? Do you feel you should uh, still um, do changes to the original gameplay experience or not? うん。今後はまあそこまでまあそこまでとかそうやってユーザーフィードバックがあるってことは、まあ今後やっぱりそうやってアップデートとかで考えてるんですけど、ま、今あのオンラインでアップデート掛けられるので、so obviously, you know, release day and what you get out of the box or download, the first thing that you open up is really important. We need to have the game there. But um, as, you know, on like uh, day one patches or updates or DLCs become more and more of a common thing, we kind of expect to get more. Um, and we, thanks to the demo and the feedback, but continuing on that path, we feel like there's going to be um, a wealth of sort of opinion exchanges, hopefully for Neo, and we will take a look at it and see, you know, when the right timing or what the proper content is that we could reflect in these updates and DLCs coming forward. So we will, in a way, probably put more weight in doing that than we did for our previous titles. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I think time's up, so this is the end. Thank you.